I'm here to have a look at Hazel Grove 8. This is the start of the path. As you can see, there is a footpath sign, though it is quite difficult to see. And this is the start of the path. We'll have to see if we can get along it. Now we've got a, a rose growing over the path. I shall duck down underneath that. Okay, it's a bit overgrown but walkable so far. Some nettles. path goes between two garden fences here. This is easy to walk. Now here we come across a boardwalk that was put down by Stockport some years ago because this ground under here gets very wet in the winter. So some money was spent on this path some years ago. Okay. We're going past Bramall Cricket Ground. I can hear the sound of leather on willow. Here's a stile, that's okay. We're continuing along, I'm pleased to see the hedge has been cut because that was overgrowing the path. That's good. This is easy to walk now. Now, here we are coming into a problem. The path is completely overgrown. At this point, no way. Can I get through there? So I've climbed over the fence. I'm now in the adjacent field. Um, you can see the path is completely obliterated by that hedge. So although it's been cut on the top, vegetation's not been cut on this side. In fact, it's impassable all the way along here. Nettles. Often a problem this time of the year, but that's pretty bad. No one would want to walk along there. Now, if anybody had got this far, then they could cut across the corner of the cricket ground but that would be to go off the line of the path completely and um, not something that we'd recommend but the, this, this path here continues to be totally totally overgrown nice to be upsetting the sheep by coming here. Now what I'm interested to see is whether this area here, which was a pond in the winter, if whether in the dry weather it is still wet or whether it has indeed dried up. So apart from the fact that the path is overgrown, 
You can actually see here where where the pond was. It does seem to have dried up. This pond is now completely dry. But the path here, here the path is visible going out up to that stile. But for us to get back onto the path, I'm going to have to climb through clearly. Other people have had to do the same thing and that this has damaged the fence which is not good, not good for the farmers, not good for walkers. Right, we're back on the path now just for the last 10 metres. Some brambles, perfectly normal really, that's not a problem. And here we come to a stile, perfectly okay stile. We've now come about 500 metres from where the path was blocked. We're now got a lovely view over the meadows and we have come to cricket ground. And this is a path that's walked by a lot of people. So that path that we've just seen is blocked. It's not, it's not a path that goes nowhere. It's a path that links to a network that people like to walk around here. And uh, that's why it's important. So now we've come over the stile, the other end of the path. You can see that it's well signed. Eight has joined on to number nine which is part of the Fred Perry Way 